and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Witch's Roots and this is the April 2023 box. My name is Stacy, also known as Wild Moon Witch here on YouTube and over on Instagram. So if you want to hop on over there and follow me there, I would love that. It just got delivered like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> and I'm so excited to open it. So I wanted to film this right away to see what we got this month. By the way, today is my birthday, so it's kind of like a birthday gift. I'm filming it on my birthday. I'll probably post it a day or two after, but it was a good surprise to find in my mailbox. I don't remember what the theme is, so we're gonna have to check to see what that Let's is. Open it up. And take the information page and sneak peek. So let's take a look at what the theme is. So this month's theme for April 2023 is Seer of Avalon. It says, found within a realm of peace, purity, and hope stands the image of what could one day be. In this very special collection, we travel through the legends of Avalon, seeking divine guidance and calling upon the imagery and symbolism crafted within the magic that resides there. As we walk upon the trails of great spiritual power amongst the shimmering leaves of lush trees and the sparkling glimmer of running waters, we step upon the gates of destiny, where our path may lead to something even greater. So the first thing on top is our oracle card for the month. A relationship may seem less than perfect, yet from the perspective of your soul, this relationship is here to help you grow. Greater understanding and compassion help, but at the same time, stand up for yourself and your rights. Listen to and be guided by the light in your soul. So this oracle card is from the Eternal Light Guidance Card Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. And next we have a couple artwork pieces. The first one is for Avalon. This is the Avalon Book of Shadows reference page, written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. This beautiful Avalon artwork includes a brief history and detailed overview about the magic that resides within this spiritually powerful realm of existence. We have one for our herb this month. I think it says... Cobelia, but I am not sure with this font. It makes it hard <laughs> to read it. So I was wrong. It was an L, not a C. So the herb is Lobelia, which I have actually never heard of. So I'm excited to learn more. This is the Lobelia Herbal Grimoire artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Lobelia. Lobelia is sourced from India. This small, low-grown plant is classified within the bellflower family and produces beautiful purple and blue flowers. Within the genus of this flowering plant, there are found over 400 species. You can commonly hear the stories of practitioners throwing lobelia powder into the coming wind to stop storms in their tracks. In addition, lobelia is most notably used within a trap attraction blends or grown within the magical garden to appease and foster fairy energies. When burned, the smoke is said to carry your messages or petitions to the skies. All right, now that the artwork is off, you can have a peek into the box that I'm super excited. It looks like there's an oracle deck. I can't wait to check that out. I've been getting so many of them in 
these boxes recently and that makes me so happy because I've been wanting to buy some. So the universe just knew that I needed more. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our crystal for the month. It comes in this cute little reusable brown bag. We'll take it out. It looks like it's a little tumble of smoky quartz. We have included this tumbled stone to assist you in manifesting your dreams and inspirations. In addition, allow the energies of this stone to provide you with protection and grounding on your journey. This stone can be placed on the top of your deck to charge your deck while not in use. Next, we have a Peaches of Paradise Ritual Herbal Tea. That sounds like it's gonna be so good. Peach tea is delicious. <laughs> Let's take a smell and see. Oh yeah, you can smell, you can smell the peaches. I cannot wait to try that. I might, I might just have a cup of tea tonight. And along with the tea, they also always give you a muslin tea bag. And this tea does contain caffeine. It is a wonderfully strong blend. This Peaches of Paradise Ritual Herbal Tea has been placed within this collection to excite the mind and refresh the thought process while you work through divination or other intuitive practices. This Ritual Herbal Tea has been created with black tea, ginger, peach pieces, and fruit flavor. We have our oil. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it does have a triskel, I think that's how you say it, symbol on the front, and you can see the herbs floating around in it. The triskel Magical Anointing Oil was created with the intention of bringing free flowing movement to your current projects and growth cycles. A very intriguing and powerful symbol, the Triskel continues to be prominent within magical illustrations and workings. The Triskel has been found throughout many histories and corresponds with a variety of similar interpretations. We have enchanted this magical oil with sage, white tea, bergamot, citronella and rosemary oils and have included sage, rosemary, lobelia, and lavender herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a quartz crystal known for its ability to purify and enhance intentions. Then we have our incense sticks for this month and they are rosemary. Can't go wrong with a good rosemary protection incense. Let's light one and purify this space and cleanse it. These wonderfully fragrant rosemary ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to invigorate to invigorate your practice and meditations, providing strength and protection during your workings. All right, we have our candle. Let's see. What color do we think it might be? Maybe, maybe a brown or a green. I don't know. Or maybe a yellow. Totally wrong. <laughs> it is a blue, very pretty blue. This is almost the color I thought should have came in last, last month's box. Yes. <laughs> we have hand rolled this purified guidance mini spell candle with the intention of connecting you with the other world of Avalon. While the flame of this candle dances before you, allow your mind to open, leaving space for messages and guidance to be granted. And then the last item in this month's box is the Avalon Magic 
Oracle deck. I am super excited about it. It looks so pretty. This is the Avalon Magic deck by Rose and Sarah. The beautiful inspired artwork within this set of cards has been created by Nadia Turner. Simply choose a card and read the inspired message either daily or following your intuition when searching for divine guidance. Each card is imbued with magic and healing from the Avalon Otherworld through the Lady of the Lake, the Goddess, the Fae, the Priestesses, and all of the heroes of the Arthurian legends. May the magic of Avalon guide you to your deepest truths so you can reach your destination fully empowered to embrace an authentic and inspired life. We urge you to incorporate the pulling of cards from this deck as you face difficult experiences and challenges. May these messages bring you a glimpse of recognition and tranquility in a world of ever-moving obstacles. Let's just do a quick card pull. And this will just be for anybody watching this video. Look at that beautiful owl. And it says, don't be imprisoned by your past. Create a brand new you. Hold that vision. So that was everything that came in April's Witch's Roots box. Um, my favorite item is most definitely the Avalon Magic Oracle deck. This deck is beautiful. I just love the imagery in it and the messages on the back. I, they're just beautiful. So I can't wait to use these more. They did like a fairy one. I don't know when it was, but I saw it came in one of the boxes and it was one that I didn't get and I wish I would have because I love that Oracle deck. And I know I could purchase it, <laughs> but it's so much more fun when it comes in a box. So, yes, this is definitely my favorite item in this month's box. My least favorite, that is, it's pretty hard. They're all pretty great items that came in this month's box. I guess my least favorite would just be the smoky quartz tumble just because it is a basic tumble and it's something i already have so i guess that would be my least favorite item in this box because everything was pretty unique and great i i thoroughly enjoy this whole box everything that came in it the incense the tea which i can't wait to try the oracle deck love the candle i love that it's an herb that I don't already have and it's something new to learn about and explore and the artwork is always great and you can never have enough candles or uh, ritual oils so overall this box is definitely a win this month I do love it I missed it before because I haven't been getting it for probably close to a year so yeah let me know down in the comments what your favorite and your least favorite item from this box is. Is it the same as me? So thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, please like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite and least favorite item are from this box. Um, and anything else you want to tell me i don't know if there's another subscription box you want me to get to review let me know that down in the comments i'm always open to trying new boxes so yeah so please like and subscribe and then i will see you guys in the next video